This is Rochester Castle, opposite Rochester Cathedral, home to one of Britain's most unusual sounds. What I love here are these steps. You can see how the old stone steps have been worn away so much by the feet of many pilgrims coming to visit the shrine of St. William of Perth. This is a very elaborate tomb, clearly for a man who meant a lot and who came to a terrible end in the year 1201. What makes this story intriguing is that William was a pilgrim himself. He was a baker from Perth, and one day he'd found an abandoned child outside his bakery and named him David. When the boy grew up, they went on pilgrimage. And they visited all the sites of Scotland and England, 500 miles, and when they got here down to Rochester, they had a three-day break. I imagine they had to deal with blisters and stuff like that. Well, William spent those three days here in the cathedral talking to the monks. David, meanwhile, spent those three days in the pub talking to Ned and Wells from the town. And when they set off again at a place now known as St. William Way, an altercation happened. David picked up a stone and bashed his dad over the head and slit his throat. Ooh. A local mad woman passing by with mental health issues mopped up the blood with her apron and was miraculously cured of her nuttiness. The monks brought the body of William back here to Rochester and buried him in that special tomb. For his efforts, William was made the patron saint of foundlings, abandoned children. I have to say it's not a great advert for looking after abandoned children like that, but it is a great story here in Rochester Cathedral on one of the great pilgrimage routes of Britain.